Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest spooky toy review here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today's review is a little unusual because a bendy is not something I would normally open up and review. I, honestly, depending on the packaging, this guy might just stay in package and go up on the wall. I've got a collection of Creature from the Black Lagoon figures. Uh, it's one of my favorite monsters of all time. I've got tons of them. Uh, you can go look at the review for the Mondo creature uh, just a couple of months ago, I believe. So this was interesting to me because it's a completely new format that's showing up in stores. This Bendy Figs uh, by Noble Toys. They have lots of different licenses and they're putting out what you know, you look at and you think, well, this is a much higher quality figure than your standard issue bendy figure. This is something different and special. However, not $15 different and special, which I did not realize when I grabbed the figure and put it in my cart at Walmart, because Walmart, uh, not the best about making prices for things so obvious. So once I got to the register and scanned it, by then I've made a commitment. It's too late. If I decide I don't want to get it, then I've got to call somebody over. I'm going to be there an extra like half hour. Uh, and that's $5 of my time. I'll just spend it on the figure. Because I was thinking like 10 bucks. Uh, 15 seems absurd to me for a bendy figure. But it does look like a very nice bendy figure. And we're going to find out just how nice. So like I said, this is a whole new range of figures from Noble Toys. And Universal Monsters are one of the licenses they got. Uh, if this was creature-specific packaging, I probably wouldn't open it, but it's generic Universal Monsters packaging. On the back, you've got the cross-sell where you can see who else is available. And I, I do like that these are like weird, exaggerated takes on the characters. Uh, as somebody pointed out on Facebook, almost Monster Squad looking, but you can see like that's not really a Universal Frankenstein uh, the bride looks, uh, the screaming bride is a great choice. We don't see that a whole lot. Uh, and then Dracula, obviously that's not a Bela Lugosi likeness, but that's okay because, I mean, how many of the same Dracula, Frankenstein, bride creature do I need? I like something that looks different, and that was part of the appeal of this to me. Uh, so, you know, pretty thick card, but because it was in Walmart, it's all jacked up. Uh, so... Uh, toy lectable, not a word that I or anybody else is going to start using anytime soon, but toy lectable figure with display stand. Uh, yeah. So let's open this guy up and see what I spent my $15 on. And, it, and again, $15 for a bendy is absurd. And, and it's obviously the baseline price for it because Walmart sells everything just as cheap as they possibly can. Really wild. All right. Oh, he's, he is heavy. He is a heavy figure. So we've got some clear, which again, this is a bendy figure, but it has twist ties. Seems seems overdone to me, but we're going to take our trusty Dollar Tree fingernail clippers and uh, snip right through these annoying twist ties and uh, tabs and everything else that's preventing us from just getting this guy out of here and talking about him. I just hate all this stuff. I get it. I know it's I know why it's necessary, but I, I hate it. All right, here's our stand. Very nice stand, actually. Uh, I like the sort of film real look of it. Uh, the the new Universal Monsters logo. Yes, it's boring, but it's very classy. It feels classic. I, I don't. If the font had just a little bit of spook to it, I'd like it more. But I, I don't hate it. But nothing will ever replace that classic uh, red blood blob uh, with the the green or yellow letters or whatever in front of it. Uh, that one's the best. But th this is not bad. I don't hate this. It's cla it's it's nice and classy. And of course, creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, on the bottom, we've got Bindi Figs stamped in there. All of your information. Uh, good stand. It's solid. It's more than I expected. So let's take a look at the figure itself. Uh, he's got some little protective... Is this literally just tape? Ugh. Oh, disgusting 
sticky tape that has left disgusting sticky residue on his hands. You guys, if you know me, you know how much I hate anything that is sticky. And so now this darn, ew, disgusting. Why? Why would you do this, Noble Toys? Don't ever, ever do that again. Why would you leave this sticky garbage on my figure? Now I've got to wash this thing. Ugh. All right. Anyway, if you'll pardon me my sticky fit, but I really hate sticky stuff. The, the sculpting on this is incredible. All the scales and, and the gills up here. Uh, I mean, this is a beautifully sculpted figure. Uh, and the paint looks really nice as well. You've got uh, different color washes going through here. The gills are a distinctly different color. Uh, his evil little eyes are painted. And he's got a little mouth. I would have loved this mouth when I was a kid. Uh, he would have been eating everything. So his little uh, his little mouth is sculpted open. It's it, that's a nice touch. I like it. Uh, how bendy is he? Oh, he he's a little bendy. Kind of what I expected. I I didn't think that he was going to be super poseable just because the way that he's designed, the way that he's sculpted. Uh, you know, it's not going to allow for that armature that's inside to really hold a pose nicely. Uh, he, he can do a little bit, but not much. But, I mean, let's be honest. Most of us are not buying this as a play toy. Most of us are buying this to uh, open it up. Or maybe not even open it up. Maybe just hang it on the wall. But, like I said, if the packaging was a little, a little more specific and a little nicer. Uh, I, ugh, gosh, I touched his sticky hand again. This is infuriating. Uh if the packaging was a little more distinct and nicer, I would probably just keep this as a display piece for the wall. But since it's generic packaging, he's going to go on the shelf like this. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll leave his arms up and see how well they stay up, just out of curiosity. A little menacing pose right there. And that's probably all I'm going to get out of him. But it's okay, because, you know, he just stands there and looks cool and... What more do you need a figure to do, really, when you're a 45-year-old action figure collector? Let's see how well he stays on his stand here. Uh, foot pegs fit in pretty nicely. He's got big, giant feet, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, I will be interested to see if there's any sag over time, but maybe not. But uh, he looks nice. I... I feel like $15 is too much, but at the same time, now that I've got him out, yeah, I still feel like $15 is too much for a bendy. $10, I would be buying lots of these. For $15, this is probably the end of this collection. He's just going to go on the creature shelf, and I'll be happy he's there. Uh, but I'm not going to buy another one to keep in the package, uh, and I'm not going to pursue anything else in the line because that's just ridiculous. But looks great. If you see this guy and you're a fan of Creature, or if you see Frankenstein or any of the others, and like they're they're your character, then grab it. You might as well. It's it's a decent size. It's a good six inch scale. Let's let's compare him really six. In I hate it when I do that. Six inches is not a scale. Twelfth scale. I wish he might not even be twelfth scale. He's uh, yeah. I would say he's probably a twelfth scale figure if you compare him to uh, Mister Voorhees here who is, uh, I guess, 10th scale. Uh, but anyway, looks good. Nice sculpting. Uh, just not quite worth it for me. But if you see one of these, and it's a character you love, and it is a unique, different, interesting take on that character, uh, why not grab it? And then take it home ugh, and wash it off. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and scare. Smash that like button if you like needless things.